Hello class. I hope you all had a lot of fun outside during recess. So today in language arts, we're gonna... Wait a minute. Where's Rosa? She's late again. Rosa's late again? Oh that naughty girl. How dare she be tardy, again. The you are. Rosa Gonzalez, you are tardy, again. Recess was over five minutes ago. I'm sorry, Mrs. Danner. I was just catching some fresh air outside at the playground after recess. That's no excuse for being tardy, you naughty girl. It's obvious that you didn't hear the warning bell, meaning that it's time for class. And you also didn't fill out a tardy slip. Me? Naughty? No I'm not. Excuse me, but being late to class without filling out a tardy slip is very naughty. Take your seat so we can begin with the next class. Today in language arts, we're gonna do some phonics puzzles. So take out your workbooks, and go to page. I see that we have a naughty student over here. You there, Rosa Gonzalez, would you be so kind as to get your naughty bottom off the desk and sit in your seat? Why? Because it's very naughty to sit on top of a desk at school. Get off the desk, right now. I'll just sit like this. No you won't. You will do as you are told, you naughty girl. Get off there. No. I beg your pardon? I said, no. Rosa. Gonzalez. How dare you think it's appropriate to speak to me like that, and then disobey me when I told you to get off the desk. Stop the taunting this instant. Rosa, you should know that sitting on top of a desk. The way you spoke to me, and taunting at me are very naughty. If this attitude doesn't stop, I will send you to the office. You will be if you don't pack it in right now. Pack it in what? A suitcase? That kind of cheekiness is highly inappropriate at school. You need to stop being naughty, or it'll be a trip to the office. Whatever, you anchor. That does it. You are going to be sent to the office right away. How dare you call me a wanker. Go, now, you naughty girl. I'll see you after language arts. The nerve of that girl. Rosa Gonzalez, this is the second time that you have been sent in here. What have you done this time? Nothing. Don't you lie to Mrs. Kennedy like that. You know very well that you were late to class again and being very naughty in language arts. Lie to me would you? How dare you think it's appropriate to sit there and tell me such a massive fib. Very naughty. Why is Rosa tardy again, Carla? Rochelle, she was tardy to class for being outside after recess without filling out a tardy slip. Rosa Gonzalez, how dare you make a poor excuse by being outside after recess without filling out a tardy slip. That is really naughty. I wasn't being naughty. That's a lie, and you know it. Naughty girl. Being tardy to class is really, really naughty. That means bunking off classes. Not only Rosa was tardy to class, but she was being very naughty during language arts class. Really? What other naughty antics did she do this time? She sat on top of her desk, disobey me when I told her to get off of it taunting at me, and called me a wanker. Rosa, how dare you be naughty like this? Sitting on top of a desk is one thing, but disobeying Mrs. Danner, taunting at her, and calling her a wanker, those are quite another. How old are you? Eight. That's right. You're eight years old, and you should act your age. You're in second grade, not nursery school for goodness sake. I'm calling your mother right away. But. No buts about it. Your mother needs to know that you were naughty today. Please. Don't try to big your way out of it. Your mother needs to know, now. No way. I beg your pardon? Rosa, look at me. Don't argue with Mrs. Kennedy about your naughty behavior. She has to call your mother, and tell her that you were naughty. But... 
but nothing. Mrs. Kennedy doesn't have a choice. Your mother needs to know, now. I'm giving your mother a call, now. Hello, Natalia. This is Principal Rochelle Kennedy. Why do I sound angry? Your naughty daughter, Rosa has been naughty again. She was tardy to class again, sitting on top of her desk, disobeying Mrs. Dana when she tells her to get off of it, taunting at her, and calls her a wanker. Can you believe it? Yes, she's in so much trouble. I assume she will be punished for this. She's with me in my office, along with her teacher, Carla Dana. Okay. Meet me at my office when you come to pick her up. Bye. Your mother is on her way to come and pick you up. I've already called her. Is she gonna punish me? Yes. She will punish you for what you have done back in my classroom. Thank you for coming on such short notice, Natalia. You're welcome, Rochelle. I can't believe that my daughter has been very naughty here at school after she promised me to behave. As for you, Rosa Isabel Gonzalez, how dare you be naughty here in school again after you promised me to behave? Breaking your promise for not being naughty is very naughty. No, I didn't break my promise. Don't, Don't lie, lie to your, your mother, mother like that. that. Lie to me, would you? How dare you told me an obvious fib? Mrs. Kennedy told me on the phone that you were late to class again, disobeying Mrs. Denner when she tells you to get off of your desk, taunting at her, and called at her a wanker. Very. Very. Naughty. Natalia, take your naughty daughter home now. She's been naughty quite enough for one day. Rosa, we're going home right now. Naughty little girl. Go to your room now, and you are grounded for five weeks. Go, now, you... Boy. What is that awful smell? Rosa, I want a nappy on you. Why, Mom? Because you just messed yourself. Come with me, and we'll put a nappy on you, now, and then it's straight to your room, you naughty girl. 